Hello and welcome to today's Dwelling in the Word. Today we're going to dwell together in Luke chapter 13, verses 22 through 27. Hear the Word of God. Then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? Jesus said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. But he will answer, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, We ate and drank with you, and you taught in our streets. But he will reply, I don't know you or where you come from. Away from me, all you evildoers. And this is not exactly the feel-good message of the day, is it? (laughs) There's a part of this that actually feels a bit surprising in jarring coming from Jesus. This is the same Jesus who told us that a sparrow does not drop to the ground apart from the will of the Father without the Father knowing that this has happened. Even the very hair, the very hairs on your head are numbered. God knows everything that you are going through, everything that's going on in your life. And this is the same Jesus who on so many occasions welcomes sinners and receives them and so easily forgives them. This is the same God who said to his people long ago through the prophet Isaiah, I have called you by name. And so here we have Jesus saying to someone, depart from me, for I don't know you or where you have come from. This teaching is actually very similar to what Jesus said on another occasion, as recorded in Luke chapter 6, verse 46, when he says, in the form of a question, why? Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? And then he goes on to give us that story that many of us know by heart about a, a, a wise man and a foolish man. The wise man who built his house upon the rock, the foolish man who built his house on the sand and makes the observation and the comparison that the wise man is anyone who hears the teachings of Christ and puts them into practice in their lives versus the person who hears the teachings of Christ and then doesn't do anything with those teachings. And so when we come back to this question, are only a few people going to be saved? And Jesus saying emphatically, you need to make absolutely every effort to enter in through the door before it's closed. Make every effort. And so for us to move in the direction of not being able to say with some of these people, well, we hate with you and you taught us in our streets that we don't fall back on. Well, man, we went to church. We heard your teachings and we went to the church and we had fellowship meals with your people and we, we shared in the Lord's Supper with you and your people. And for Jesus to say to these people who would make these claims that we, we, you taught us and we ate with you. And yet Jesus saying to them, hmm, Away from me, evildoers, for you, I I don't know who you are, and I don't know where you are from. But notice what's going on. These are people who are still outside. They didn't come in. And for too many of us, my fear is that some of us, we hear the teachings of Jesus, but we stay at a distance from Jesus, and we don't really come to Jesus to know him, to take up our crosses and follow him. 
and to live a life that's truly in fellowship with him. We keep just we keep Jesus at, at an arm's length and we don't enter in. And it's too late when Jesus comes. We need to enter in the door now. Jesus himself is the door. He is the gate. He is the way to life with the Father. So come in, come in out of the darkness, come in out of the cold, come into a relationship with Jesus. So a word to the wise is simply this, listen, listen to Jesus. Take what he's saying here to heart. Make every effort to get to know him and not just about him. Do what Jesus says. If you call him Lord, if you've confessed him as Lord, do what he says. Do what he did. Live the way that he lived. Put his teachings into practice, knowing that ultimately the ultimate practice, the ultimate teaching of Christ is to know and to do the will of our Father in heaven. Talk to Jesus. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Go where he leads you. Follow him and follow again his example. Don't be among those who will hear these words that sound jarring to our ears from Jesus. Depart from me. Away from me, for I don't know you or where you come from. My desire for you, God's desire, what Jesus wants to say to you is, well done, good and faithful servant. But not everyone will hear these words. You and I have a choice to make. Will we today make every effort to enter in through the door, knowing that Satan is trying to do everything in his power to mislead us, to deceive us, to cause us to delay. Stop delay. Seek the Lord with all of your heart. Make every effort to enter through the door while you can.